Welcome to MCTV This Week. I'm Denzel Johnson, and I have a special guest with me today. Hi, my name is Payal Miraj, and I'm from South Africa, and I'm an international student just here for a semester, so yeah. Awesome, yeah. Could you give me a little background about yourself? Okay, so I'm a communications major, so back home my, my major is strategic communications in applied marketing, and I just find it passionate, and I love what I do, so that's how I got you. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, what were you expecting when you came to America? A lot. A hell of a lot. <laughs> I mean, when we watch movies, we see America being one of the greatest places in the world, and it's called the land of opportunities, the melting pot. And I'd say my biggest expectations was like literally a Starbucks right next to me, and like a Nike store just down the road, or yeah, big city type of thing. But that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but it's it's beautiful so far. Yeah. So yeah, you were talking about America, this like you know, city of dreams, uh, the melting pot. Um, and in this big world, uh, America has seemed like, you know, a big city, but how did you find out about Monmouth College, this little <laughs> small rural town? Um, so I, um, how this actual process happens is like with your marks and things like that. So in your freshman year, they check your marks and then if your marks are pretty good, then you go into like this uh, program. And so from that program, we just selected a whole lot of universities and colleges. And I had absolutely no idea where this place was going to be. And honestly, I didn't bother checking because it was just like we had like four days to pick everything. So it was kind of a short time. And yeah, yeah, that's literally how I found it out. And when I got the email, my heart skipped like I don't even know how many beats <laughs> to get. So yeah, it was interesting to see how I actually got you. Yeah. Uh, were you worried about coming um, to a completely foreign place, like all alone by yourself? Definitely. I mean, I'm very quiet and very introverted, which is quite ironic since I'm a communications major. But when I talk, I talk quite a bit. So um, I was definitely worried about fitting in. And then I realized, like, it's not about fitting in. It's about um, adapting and making the most of it. And um, I was worried about, like, because we're so used to, like, South African politics and South African examples and things like that. So I was worried about uh, if I would adapt to, like, the politics and things here. But it was OK, I guess, to some point. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, you said you were only going to be here for a semester. So I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> sad you're only here for uh, a short amount of time. But yeah. with you being here, um, I know you were doing some research or some documentaries of your own. Could you tell me? A little bit about that. Oh, sure. So I'm all about breaking stereotypes. And so it, like I'm pretty sure people will be looking at me and saying, you Indian, but you're from South Africa. How is that possible? So that's why I said like I'm all for breaking stereotypes to like just to educate people to know that the, the problem was a stereotype. It's not that it's um, it's a stereotype. It's just incomplete. So mm -hmm. people just need to understand that like Everyone's different. I mean, like, it'll be weird if you find out there's like Chinese people in Brazil. Like, just the <laughs> thought of that alone is like shocking. So, yeah, but that's what I want to do break stereotypes. And I want to get um, other international students to also break stereotypes so um, the students at Monmouth College can learn about other countries and not only South Africa. So, that's awesome. yeah. You know, um, but now finding out about your research, um, it's really interesting that you came to a liberal arts college. Um, <laughs> You know what I'm saying, where, you know, although it is a predominantly white institution, we still have uh, international students, uh, you know, black and Latinx students. Yeah. Uh, so what are your thoughts about the college now that you've been here for a little while and kind of got uh, adjusted <laughs> to the culture? Um, I love it. I honestly love it. It's just um, I, like I was worried about the people being arrogant and ignorant. And it was actually not like that. The people were some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And um, people are kind. They're always willing to help you. And what's nice about this place is that there's always like functions or like events coming up. So there's like mm -hmm. different organizations that host things, and it just makes you feel welcomed and not like you're stuck in the middle of cornfields and like a pork factory and like a dog food factory. <laughs> so like that, they do make you feel really welcomed, and I appreciate that, especially being an international student from very very far away. So yeah. That's amazing, yeah. Um, so what advice would you give to any other like international students who may be in a position like you where, where they were coming from so far away, coming to a new area alone? Um, what can you, you know, speak to or give advice to, you know, 
other international students who will eventually be sitting in the seat that you were. Don't be scared. I always tell myself, inhale the courage and exhale the fear. So it was, it was tough, I won't lie to you, because I'm coming from a massive institution with almost like 57,000 students, and then you get like one of my classes has four people in it, so it was like, what's going on here? But don't be scared about it. It's, it'll, this whole journey is just a growing journey. You find out more about yourself than you find out about anything else. Um, you, you be shocked to know how you respond to certain situations, like a lot of events and people on this campus changed me. The way I think, the way I look at my life now, the way I want to look at my life. And that's what um, I'm grateful for because not everyone gets this opportunity. And I'm coming from a very, very like, poor background, I would say. Like, you know, literally growing up across the streets of Soweto in Johannesburg. And there's, um, you think you, that's your life. Like, there's nothing else you can do. And then it, that's why I said it's important to dream. And yeah, you never know what's going to happen. You really never know what's going to happen. And here I am in America speaking. <laughs> so it's, it's all about courage and faith. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. And um, that's kind of the end of our show. I just want to say once again, thank you for coming up here and sharing your story, giving advice. Um, and just, you know, being yourself and also talking about your own personal experience. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, and that's the end of the Inside Scoop. You can also uh, watch us on the web at mamifcollege.edu slash mctv. See you next time.